Okay, for this project, here's what I want you to do. We are going to fall back on our famous alarm kind of programming because doing that really teaches the basics of not just digital control logic, but it gives you what you need to familiarize yourself with an environment. So here's what we're going to do. We know we can't really mess with analog and we can't use comparisons inside of a ladder diagram in Automation Builder. So we're going to use a digital alarm. That's going to be something like a low, low switch or a high, high switch. Or if you're feeling ambitious, you could do one of each. But we want at least one digital input which is going to create an alarm. Now that doesn't actually have to be mapped to a physical input. Obviously, we're just going to use a bool, something, uh, a memory register, a variable from our database. But we want to use that. And after a time delay, you know, give it something like five seconds, we're going to then trigger an alarm. And we don't need to do alarm and notification bits. We'll be happy with just an alarm bit and then just a single alarm reset to reset the condition. Now, after that, we do want to add one more layer into this cake. We also want to have a counter, which is going to count how many alarms that we've had. And we can go ahead and count that up to like 100 alarms or something like that. So in your program, we want to be able to use an XIC, or in this case, it's going to be called a contact. We want to use that with a time delay to create an alarm. We want to be able to reset that alarm once that contact is no longer closed. And even if it is closed, we want to be able to reset it, but then it'll re-engage after the time delay expires again. And then we want a counter, which is going to be accumulating and counting how many alarms we've had. So we can go ahead and keep rocking this alarm back and forth and watch the counter go up. That's it. That's your project. And after you've completed yours and everything's working to your satisfaction, come back, jump into the next lecture, and then I will take a stab at approaching the same problem. So I'll see you then.